Why are we changing the PCM on this 1997 GMC Safari? The van shuts down randomly while driving. Basically, the engine dies out and power steering slash braking are lost. The wires leading to the PCM and the connectors have been inspected. At this point, it has been one month since the repair and it was a faulty PCM. The random shutdowns are gone. But before that, the van would shut down at least once for every 20 miles. <laughs> That's real scary stuff, but thankfully it never caused an accident. First thing we want to do is remove the negative terminal from the battery. This footage is from a 2000 Chevrolet Astro that I found at the junkyard. The process is the same as the 97 Safari. You don't have to remove the battery. A 10 millimeter socket frees up the fuse box. Move it to the side. Here I'm using a molding tool to remove the retainer clip because the van needed one. Normally, just open it and move the wires out of the way. This is a retainer clip. You look for the mouth. And basically, the more you pull on it, the more steadfastly it holds. What you want to do is free up this bottom piece so you would stick your flathead screwdriver in that space under the mouth. It would look like this. There you go. Next up, you remove this clip holding the PCM to the battery tray. The hole faces the driver's side. At this point, you could push the PCM in and slide it out. To remove the connectors, it's really easy. Just grab a flathead. There you go. Here we have an 05 Chevy Astro. And for this one, you would pull back on this tab and then release the PCM from these two tabs by pushing it to the left. And once that's free, you can just wiggle it out. These connectors come out with the seven millimeter. And there you have it. The bad PCM that was removed from the vehicle and the replacement PCM. This is a used part that was flashed for me by Roner's Auto Parts, located in the state of Minnesota. You go to eBay, find your PCM if it's sold by them, buy it, and then send them a message with your VIN number and they'll flash it for you and ship it to you. Cost is about $100 for the Astro Safari vans before installing your PCM, make sure to transfer these tabs or this bracket over to the new one. It has three tabs that you basically pull up on. And be very careful with them because this is really, really old and brittle. And this one's already snapped. And yeah, they should come out. The bracket has been moved to the replacement PCM and there really is only one way to put that bracket in because of this. Now I'm going to open this guy up and see where it failed. After opening up the PCM and inspecting the circuitry, I found nothing wrong. No burnt pieces, nothing's missing. I didn't inspect the middle piece, so maybe the fault's in there. I would assume the VIN number and other important info are stored in this piece. It would be super cool if you could just take out this piece, put it in another PCM, and you'd be ready to go. But according to service information, you can't do that. You have to flash a replacement PCM for these vans. So I don't know what this piece is. Service information calls it the KS Calibration Prom. 
Prom being programmable read-only memory. It even has an access hole outside the case or on the case. To flash this PCM, I would need access to login information for a GM dealership and a pass-through device. This is well beyond the limit for the average DIYer, so I recommend just buying it pre-flashed. The install for the older models is very simple, but the install for the newer models can be a bit difficult if you don't want to break the tabs. Here I'm using two screwdrivers to pull up those tabs and I'm sliding the PCM in. Fits like a glove. Now I got the tab back in here. And if you try to do it by hand, you're gonna be fighting this. You're gonna be fighting this all day. So we're gonna use a molding tool. Just like that. For the 1997, the PCM was plug and play. I reconnected everything, took the van for a drive, no problems. But for some models, you might need to do an IAC reset procedure. You might also need to unlock your radio. I don't have the stock radio anymore, so that wasn't a problem. I hope you learned something. Have a good day.